We reserve a few minutes each Sunday to discuss current world trends that you'd expect from reading Bible prophecy. And uh, the Bible, of course, uh, may be 30% prophecy, so you read a lot of them. We are futurists. That means we interpret the unfulfilled prophetic portions of the book of Daniel and the book of the Revelation, all other unfulfilled Bible prophecies as future events that will occur in a literal, physical, apocalyptic, global context. Things like biometrics and artificial intelligence, cashless commerce, the manipulation of human DNA, global government, the exponential growth of human knowledge, and the rebirth of Israel as a nation, these are all areas we see corroborating the end times prophecies of the Bible. Our update last Sunday highlighted the push for COVID-19 vaccine passports. As is our habit, we gave no medical advice. We don't recommend one way or the other on vaccines. Nevertheless, we joined the list of those who have had their postings removed by YouTube for violating its medical misinformation policy. And when I posted a screenshot of the YouTube notice on Instagram and Facebook, both of those sites added a link to the COVID-19 Information Center for Vaccine Resources. We've made the big time. So you can tell, uh, I, as far as I know, we're the only church in Hanford so far that's been banned uh, from YouTube. Just, just that one update. So thank you very much, yes. <laughs> Things have gotten weird, but anyway. During the future Great Tribulation, all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and slave, must receive a mark on their right hand or on their foreheads, and no one may buy or sell except one who has that mark, the name of the beast or the number of his name. In other words, citizens will be mandated to participate in a system by which they must show proof of compliance in order to be allowed to work or shop or dine or take in entertainment. Without proof, their livelihood and their lifestyles will be restricted. Citizens are today being mandated to participate in a system by which they must show proof of compliance in order to be allowed to work or shop or dine or take in entertainment. Without that proof, their livelihood and lifestyles are being restricted. Across the pond in the United Kingdom, the Prime Minister encouraged nightclubs and other large venues to insist on vaccine certification as a matter of social responsibility. Ross Clark writes for The Telegraph over in the UK. Here are some excerpts from two articles that he recently posted. Like COVID-19 itself, the idea of vaccine passports just won't seem to go away. It subsides for a while, suppressed by the realization of what it would mean that a small proportion of the population concentrated in some ethnic groups would be constantly discriminated against, but then it creeps back. Ministers have been discussing making vaccine passports a legal requirement at certain venues. And once they have become established at nightclubs and concert halls, just wait until they become legally required at all hospitality venues, pubs, restaurants, hotels, just as it seems they will be uh, will such establishments in France and Ireland. Vaccine passports and, uh, are only a temporary measure, we are told, just to protect during the pandemic. But you can bet that they will soon morph into a smartphone-based ID card, which we are expected to carry wherever we go, at least if we want access to any commercial premises or public building. There are too many vested interests to allow the idea to die a death with the pandemic. There are huge fortunes to be made for the tech industry if it can persuade governments and commercial organizations to force on us electronic ID cards, which can then be used to collect data and store it. There's a model for what will be coming our way, China's social credit system, which blacklists people for numerous anti-social offenses from crossing the street on a red light to falling short of their recycling and uses the information to deny them the right, for example, to buy rail and airline tickets. It was reported that the government is planning to introduce a health app in January, this is the UK government, which will monitor our shopping, our exercise levels, our intake of fruit and vegetables, and reward us with virtue points, which we can exchange for discounts, free tickets, and other goodies. There will be no end to this kind of thing if we agree to use the app. So the COVID-19 mandates, whether necessary or not, have accelerated global acceptance of invasive social credit by which the government can control all behavior. It could go away tomorrow or it could get worse. I'm not saying that this is the mark of the beast or that it's here permanently, but it sounds very Revelation 13-ish. And so if anybody is reading through the Revelation and, and um, 
Uh, you come across this news, you think, where have I heard something like that before? Oh, yeah, yeah. That's going to be the government of the last days of the Antichrist, a world that is connected digitally, uh, where you have to identify yourself and, and live up to the government's mandates in order to participate in society. Of course, we believe the resurrection and rapture of the church is imminent, could happen at any moment, and nothing needs to happen before it happens. It will happen before the Great Tribulation. Are you ready for the rapture? If not, get ready, stay ready, keep looking up. Ready or not, Jesus is coming.